WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading week, and we got markets hanging around negative territory. Dow Jones off 375 points, trading at 25,588. S and P is currently negative by 46 points, trading at 28.16, and the Nasdaq negative 152 points, trading at 76.87. Dollar index up about 200 ticks, trading at 96.185. The big story of the day: notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. Ten-year note up 21 ticks at 124 on the dot. Thirty-year bond up a point and 14 ticks, 148.19. Quite a number. Seeing those pull back a little bit. Let's just even as we go. We'll jump into the 10 year, pulling it up on a chart just to give it because we were a little bit higher. Uh, TY, excuse me, that's not it. TY, all right, now it's going to freeze on me. That's okay. Let's jump over the futures. We'll start it off with the Dow. Currently trading 25,629. As you can see, it's going to be a pretty similar update to the one we did at noon. These markets just kind of hanging at the lows after trading lower for most of the day. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. Currently trading at 7406. There we go. Snapping back. We'll jump back. S&P 500, we were up there at about 25, 2850, excuse me, earlier in the day. You see the S&Ps trade all the way to an intraday low of 2807. We're now 11 points above that level. Be interesting to see three hours left in the trading week, whether we can get some upside action in the markets. Crude oil trading lower for most of the session as well. Early, early in the morning, 4 a.m. Eastern time, trading up there at about $60. You have crude trade all the way down to 58.28, currently trading 58.95. Gold contract just kind of been hanging at this 13.12, 13.13 level for most of the day, trading at 13.11.95 as we speak. And Euro US dollar currently trading 112.84. So we mentioned notes and bonds, the big story, higher price, lower yield, one of the bigger stories out there, as we're seeing the, an inversion, basically an inverted yield curve where short-term yields are higher than their longer-term counterparts with the real comparison being a three-month versus the 10-year. And as we wrap up this update, so check out the shifting yield curve. This is where we were in May 18, makes sense, right? Short-term rates low, long-term rates high, and then watch as we go, folks. There's December, January, February inversion. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Have a great Friday.